today we're doing McDonald's again. But um, it's because they have little tiny baby crack toys, okay? We're gonna get to that later. I'm so excited, you have no idea. And we're gonna talk about Chimp Crazy, okay? It's an HBO show and I don't know who to talk to about this, okay? I need to just talk about it. So there's gonna be a lot of talking in this one, okay? Also, I just got my nails done. I'm in a wedding tomorrow. Sorry, I had, anytime I get my nails done, I just have to do this, like, all the time. I don't know. But I'm in a wedding tomorrow, and it's been just crazy, stressful. I don't even know. It's not even about me, okay? But for some reason, I'm just really stressed out. I don't know. Everyone is. It's just chaos. But anyways, I got my nails done. And there is nothing better than getting a mani-pedi, bitch. Rub my feet. Oh. I felt really bad for the girl that had to rub my feet though because I have not shaved anything because I'm going to shave tonight for the wedding tomorrow and I have huge feet, okay? So I basically, it's like a Sasquatch foot. This poor woman, I don't know, I felt really bad, but hairy fucking ankles, cankles, big ass feet, I don't know. Anyways, if you're watching... I'm sorry. I tipped her really well because I always feel terrible. I'm like, I'm sorry, my feet. I'm just, I'm a gross piece of shit. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Don't even look at me. Thank you so much. But my toes are matching my nails also. Okay, anyways, and they kind of match the crock. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. Anyways, I got a six piece nugget and a Sprite. Oh. Nothing slaps better than a McDonald's Sprite. I recently saw, too, that there are, what is that? I wrote it down. Four different kinds of McNuggets. The boot, the bell, the bone, and the ball. Give me the balls. Just kidding. Um, but, so we got a boot. I think everyone agrees that the boot's the best. Cutie boots. Ball. Ball. Boot. Well, what the fuck? I don't know. We don't have a bell. Maybe that's a bell. I don't know. Or a bone. Just, just Google it. Okay. I'm gonna eat some fries and then we're going to talk about Chim Crazy. Okay. Oh, oh. I will never get over how tiny Happy Meal fries are. Look at how freaking tiny it is. This is nothing. I should have got more than one, but they only had one type of Croc shoe. I don't have this one. I had to ask before I ordered. But anyways, Chimp Crazy, okay? Have you watched it? It's from the same director, producer, whatever, as Tiger King. And can we all just take a moment to remember Tiger King era? Like, I know Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin and all the people involved with that are, like, huge pieces of shit. Like, human garbage people. But was there ever a more entertaining, crazy-ass freaking show? I don't think so, in my opinion. You guys remember, like, COVID? <laughs> like, I know it was a really horrible, traumatic, awful, terrible time for everyone. But there was something about it that I just yearn for sometimes of, like, you just get to stay home. As, like, an introverted person, bitch, I get to stay home? People are telling me to stay home? Like, just say less. I loved it. Having no pressure to do anything at all outside, doing anything, I, I, I miss it. Just that aspect though, okay? I'm not trying to be a douchebag. Anyways, so the same director of Tiger King did Chimp Crazy. And it's about these 
basically just dumbass bitches that are um, monkey moms. And they like treat monkeys and chimpanzees and these apes as like their babies. And I wrote down, I have lists of shit. Episode one, right within the first five minutes, whoop, this gap tooth bitch. I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm being really rude. Okay. So I love someone with a gap in their teeth. Okay. I mean, no disrespect by that. That's just how I'm describing this chick. Okay. I really do love someone with a gap in their teeth. I think it's like endearing and adorable and cute. Okay. So this gap tooth bitch <laughs> right in the beginning, she adopted a baby chimp and then she gave birth to her son and this baby chimp didn't have a mom and was hungies and she fucking breastfed her kid on one tit and breastfed the monkey on the other first five minutes of the show i didn't even know you could do that can you is she just full of shit? And like, side note, the reason I got a Happy Meal besides the Croc shoe was because they're feeding these chimps Happy Meals, Chicky Nug Happy Meals, and Powerade with Red 40 in it. And you're wondering why these chimps are going ape shit. No pun intended. You're feeding them just garbage food and Red 40. When I saw them get Happy Meals for these chimps, I was like... I mean, yeah, a Happy Meal is freaking awesome. But what the fuck? Anyways, starts off with this bitch breastfeeding a freaking baby monkey. And then they're talking about how for birthday parties, you could get a little baby monkey at your birthday party. And that's how they like started out with their business. And I would love a baby monkey at my birthday. My birthday's coming up, by the way. If you're watching... A little baby monkey that would be really cool but at the same time like I fucking hate people that keep these wild animals as like their pets but a little baby monkey dressed up in overalls and a little t-shirt and little sh little crocs I mean I would scream and cry if I got to hold a little cute ass little baby monkey. There comes a point though. Where the monkeys are like. They start to get too big and terrifying. First episode is just them introducing blah 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 blah. Whatever whatever. Second episode. Talking about the monkeys jack off. They like the monkey moms walk in on their little boy chimps jacking it and they hide it, I guess. And these chimps are smart. They know how to use microwaves and drive cars and they can dress themselves. Like I, they just give them t-shirts and they know they give them a pair of pants and they know like it just, it blows my mind. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There was a scene, I wrote this down, baby monkey in little overalls. Just envision that. Then you're introduced to this chimp named Travis, all right, who um, basically went fucking apeshit crazy because um, he was like trapped inside of a house, not outside where he should be. And he ripped this lady's face off and ate it and went just totally crazy. Beat the, killed, no, he didn't kill her. She was on Oprah. 
doesn't have a face anymore, doesn't have eyeballs. They ended up shooting the chimp. He, he, he gone. He dead. But that Travis monkey, he met Mari. He met Mari before he died. And you know what? Now that I'm saying that out loud, this fucking monkey that ripped someone's face off got to meet Mori before I did. I just love Mari. <laughs> Anyways. I also wrote down little monkey dicks. Because they teach them how to pee pee poo poo in the toilet. Little dicks hanging out. Pissing. Pictures. They show you. I was like, whoa. The end of episode two, bitch. My jaw was on the floor. Okay. Spoiler alert. They're looking for this chimp named Tonka. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's on the run. Oh, we don't know. Oh, my God. This bitch has him. She has him. Did not think. How do you smuggle a chimp? A grown, like a huge chimp. How do you smuggle one? I don't I'm so confused how she did this. But this chick, like, got this chimp away from the authorities and has him held captive. My jaw was, excuse me, on the floor. I was like, ah! Tonka's alive. The only thing I wrote down for episode three was Tonka is alive and he has his own iPad and email. He's just sitting in his cage on his iPad. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Every time I film myself drinking Sprite, I have like a violent reaction like that. What the fuck? Oh. Episode four, last episode. There's some monkey that was in Wolf of Wall Street. And they end up showing the monkey himself in Wolf of Wall Street. And the chimp goes crazy because he remembers Leonardo DiCaprio. And he got really excited. I guess he really loves Leonardo DiCaprio. Who doesn't? Um, that main bitch gets her ear ripped off. not eating those really that's all I wrote down but all in all fuck these people that think that they can just house chimps like outside of the wilderness bring them to an enclosure outside okay these monkeys like never see grass some of them I get that their heart is in the right place like they really do love and care about these animals but in the end, they're actually abusing them. So, fuck them. I don't know. Watch it, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I might make a short about this too, so if you see the short and this, just pretend that you didn't see this, okay? I love that it comes with stickers. Oh. Okay. Oh, I am, I'm sweating. Oh my God. This, I was not expecting this to be that cute. Oh, oh, I can make little earrings. Oh my God. Oh, put a little chimp's foot in there. Oh, oh, X Games mode. Oh my God. Okay, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna go stare at this for like an hour, okay? This, oh my God. Okay, can they really though make little gibbets? 
I want to make this into a gibbet and put it on my crock and then I want little gibbets for this crock. Can we do that, McDonald's? Anybody? Crocs? Okay. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Please subscribe. Okay, bye!